Roosevelt outlined many progressive reforms to the American public and gave his plan a name, the Square Deal. When Roosevelt assumed office, over 80% of American business was owned by trusts. Although Congress had already enacted the Sherman Antitrust Act, it had not stopped the trusts from using unfair business practices to destroy their competition. Roosevelt began by suing the Northern Securities Railroad Trust. And in 1904, the Supreme Court agreed that the trust had become a monopoly and ordered it dissolved. Roosevelt's administration filed over 40 more suits. They pursued the beef industry, Standard Oil, the American Tobacco Company, and many other trusts. Americans overwhelmingly returned Roosevelt to the presidency in 1904 as he continued his work as a trust buster and a staunch proponent of governmental regulation of business. The many other progressives who were serving in local, state, and federal government helped Roosevelt to get the support he needed to get his proposed laws passed, like Mayor Samuel Golden Rule Jones of Toledo, Ohio, Governors Charles Acock of North Carolina, Albert Cummins of Iowa, and Fighting Bob La Follette of Wisconsin, both of whom became United States Senators. Two years after his re-election, Roosevelt saw the Hepburn Act become law, which gave the Federal Interstate Commerce Commission the power to regulate the maximum fees railroads could charge. In 